we're going on a treasure hunt. Who's coming with me? Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, this is a $200 dibble box, which is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. It is um, from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel, and it was purchased as a gift. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. To me, from Christopher, I buy Chit, C H I T. And he is also known as Amazing Steals and Deals on um, eBay. And he is a major bolo finder. So definitely check out his eBay store. I will link it down below. So let me see. Get this out of this bag here. All right. Let's see what's inside. I'm so excited. All right. Here we go. How do I open it? Oh, this is really a nice, easy to open box here. Look at that. Let me just show you here. Nice. Nice presentation for sure. Okay. So we're going on a treasure hunt. Who's coming with me? I'm going to try to stand behind. Oh my goodness, we're going to have all these little, little opening things with bubble wrap around them. I'm going to save the bubble wrap for sure, if I can, if it's savable. So I am using, um, let me make sure I'm recording here. That would be awful if I wasn't. American Bubble Boy now, and I am just super, super happy with um, the bubble wrap I got. So... I do have a referral link down below if you guys are looking for uh, bubble wrap. But what's really cool is they send it to me on subscription. So it's like a month to month thing. So I just sign up and I can cancel at any time if I start to get too much. But uh, so next month I'll have four rolls of bubble wrap coming. So we have a little glass ornament. I don't, it says something on it, but I can't, oh, whoa, don't break it. Maybe West Germany. Is that what it says? West Germany. So that's really pretty. Okay, so that's item number one. What is in here? Let's see what we got. It's like a treasure hunt, right? Let me move this over. Let me try to switch my camera angle here. <clears throat> so that I can maybe point it down at my hands. Is that better? Maybe a little more. All right. Ask me gift card. Hess. And it is a pin. We've got some keys. Some locks and keys. What do they say on them? I don't know what it says. So we'll have to look those up. Vintage uh, Richard Padlock. And I'm sure Donna didn't write that. I'm sure that was uh, just how it came. Same with this. Earn free gas with every purchase. So old uh, silver. Oh, this says silver. Is it just silver or is it like silver, silver? Well, let's check it out. Oh, I can't check it out because it's in a bag. It just says, I think it says silver on it. I doubt it's really silver. Do you think it's really silver? Huh. We'll have to look that up. I'm sure that I can find that with a Google search or with a, oh, cool, with an eBay search. Uh, Batman and Robin. I almost said Spider-Man. And we have, what on earth? Huh. Let's see. It says clean cutter. 
clean cutter. I wouldn't be shaving with that. That's a little rusty. And this, is that a baseball bat? Is it a pin? I don't know what that is. Louisville Slugger Bats. So some sort of little like vintage advertising piece. Super fun box so far. Donna knows I like uh, vintage and weird stuff that I have to look up and try to figure out. Oh, how cute, I love it. Oh my goodness, what is it? Is it a pin cushion? I have no idea what it is. It says something on it, let me see what it says. It says, I can't read it. Can you guys read it? It says something right there. I don't know, but look, I wonder if you stick something in that, but it's a little turtle. That is so stinking adorable. Don't know anything about it. We're gonna be researching. All right, what's this? This says rare apron. And I think a lot of this stuff, she um, had just gotten a haul from Jesse. So I wanna say that maybe some of these things came from that. New York World's Fair, 1964, 1965. Whoa, that is cool. It's a vintage apron. No clue if it's worth anything, but the person that had wherever, whatever they had. So I'm guessing he probably bought out somebody that had like a booth or something like that. Uh, so I don't know, we'll have to see on that, but that's pretty cool. I definitely think it's neat looking. So again, this was a $200 box gifted to me by Christopher. Amazing steals and deals on um, eBay and I will link him down below. Check that out, it definitely needs a little cleaning. But it's an old tin toy. I'll have to use Google Lens, wonder if it works. I don't think it works. It's broken, but that's okay. It's still, um, somebody will probably still want it. This is rubber and this is tin. Huh, funky, right? Fun, fun. We got this little piece sticking out the side of the box. Men debts. Men's all leaks instantly. What? Is it missing something or is that what it is? Is it missing something? Either way, cool vintage advertising. Have to look that up. Let's get rid of this bubble. And we have another bag here. And this is a little Oh, mohair. Oh, it's a mohair Boyd's bear. Cute. 1998. So really, really cute. But you can tell he's a mohair. He is jointed. Woo! He's cute, right? Oh, he's so cute. Aww. All right, let's move on to the next one here. Oh boy. Um, these are double 12 dominoes. Contains 90. Ah. Okay, it kind of got moved around during shipment. Uh, power? Power. Okay, I'm gonna have to get this box back together. That shall be fun, but they're uh, dominoes, vintage dominoes. Oh my goodness, let me put these behind me. Here is the box, made in Taiwan. So I don't know, we'll see. Easy to ship, easy to list. I like that. Disney, Steamboat Willie, Sound and Magic Motion. The problem with these are is I don't know how to test them. I have sold these before and I typically just sell them as is. So depending on what this comps out at, I might see if my husband knows how to test it. 
Maybe he has some little trick up his sleeve without uh, getting out Christmas lights. But that looks really cool. And that is 2003. We have a box. A box in a box. Deluxe traveling. What on earth? Spill and spell. So it's some sort of game, but it's in the original box. So that's fun. Spill and spell. All right. We have some vintage. Oh, this is a rattle, a vintage rattle. And let's see, on the back it says, um, is it Knickerbocker maybe? I think it says Knickerbocker. I really have to zoom in with my camera. So I'll be able to Google Lens it if I can't figure it out. And then this is a uh, blow mold, plastic blow mold, uh, I don't know, baby. <laughs> I don't see any markings on it. That is definitely interesting. Also, definitely needs a good cleaning. Okay, it just says made in Hong Kong right there. How funny is that? All right, let's see what else we have. We have this. Another one wrapped in. Well, let's see here. Whoa, matches that other ornament. There's that. And again, I think it says West Germany, but don't quote me on that. My eyes are just not that great. We have this thing. What on earth? Look at that. JFCO. Huh. What on earth is this? It feels like cast iron and it says one half JFCO. This is what it looks like. Anybody know what it is? Besides a prop? Like, does it do something? Does it hold a pin? No, I don't know what it does. <laughs> Research time. Oh, here's another one. What on earth are these? This one doesn't have any markings. I have no clue what this is or what it's for. No clue. They're really heavy. Maybe, I, I don't know. Oh, she has me stumped. She has me stumped. Ah, look at this. Look. It is a... Uh, hand mixer huh. how cute is that and it says made in hong kong is it amco arco arco hong kong so it's a little toy vintage toy super cute she knows i like toys this one is is that like chippendale out what these are um disney china but it's definitely vintage i wonder if it's like a mcdonald's toy or something i don't see any markings on that one i'll have to definitely do my research on these these are the same so this one's missing its little topper okay what's in here Oh, this is cute. What is this? <gasps> I want, I don't, huh. I don't know how to make it. Like, how's it work? You just push it and then it walks. Huh. I'll have to use Google Lens on that for sure. It says made in Hong Kong. 
I wonder if there's some sort of trick to it. Huh. Look at its face. Never seen anything like it. This is a fan. It says Village Church made in the USA. And then we have some ephemera. I would call this ephemera. Let's see if I can put this up so we can look at this better. American Polish Participation New York 1939 Fair. Um, looks like somebody had it listed for $25. And then it looks like there's something else in here. I wonder if this goes with it. I don't know. I'm going to leave it in there in case it has something to do with it. I don't know why it would be in there. So we'll look that up. This is something else. This is some sort of cloth item. This one is New York World's Fair 1939. Wow, that's so old. Pure imported linen. Huh. Definitely got some issues like as far as staining, but I'm not sure if it'll matter because it's so old. That's incredible. Thank you, Christopher, so much. I appreciate it. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a research video for sure. And then the Capital Region... Souvenir New York World's Fair 1939. So we'll have to look that up as well. And that is my dibble. So now it's time to get to work. Thanks for watching. All right, Bolo Buddies, that was my dibble box. And thank you again to Christopher for buying this for me. I appreciate it so much. And thank you, Donna, for putting together an awesome box with such cool vintage different items. She knows I like different and unique and boxes where I learn. And this was definitely a learning box. So I do imagine that some of these items are gonna be long tail because they are very unique and are gonna take the right buyer. But overall, super happy with this box. And everybody go subscribe to Donatella Bottolino. She is also on Whatnot Now under her first name, Donatella and amazing steals and deals. Check out his eBay store down below. He is a major Bolo finder and an incredible person. So check them both out. They are amazing. And thanks for watching.